200 miles an hour nearly. That should get us pretty darn far here. Yes, it is. 130. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. In today's episode, we're going to be doing some more scrambling and some more jumping. Only this time we're on Ski Jumping Arena. Uh, I thought I'd switch it up. We use Car Jump Arena a lot and this is another classic. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. We got the scramble parts button here and we got a lot of cars to try out. So let's get into it. But first, a word from our sponsor. If you guys weren't aware, me and Apex Gaming PCs have worked together on a line of computers specially made to play BeamNG Drive. All three computers feature Ryzen CPUs, which are very good for frame rates, especially in games like BeamNG Drive or really any other game you want to play. So if you've been thinking about buying a PC, now is a great time to because if you buy one of the Neological PCs and use code NEIL at checkout, you can get 5% off. I think that's a pretty good deal. So check out the link down below if you want to support me and the channel and with that let's get into the video all righty so we have the default d series here this is one of my favorite cars to scramble in the game because there's so many parts for this thing you always get something wacky like this oh buddy that is that is not even if you if you couldn't tell <laughs> a lot of this is not uh gonna be even that uh, tail oh god the tires oh no i might have gone too fast this thing's actually a little bit faster than it looks, even though it does have the micro tires on this thing. There goes the engine. Apparently the engine can hold up the speeds of 120 miles an hour. Doesn't seem too fast to me. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to make this one, folks. <laughs> no. And it's a long way down. If you've never seen this map before, it is a long way down. We are definitely going to splat on the ground and explode into a million pieces. So first config of the day, not so good uh, for the ski jumping arena. <laughs> Let's see how some square tires uh, help us out here. We got some nozzles. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Every little bit helps. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the? <laughs> I didn't even mean to push that. You know what? Maybe it'll help us out. But let's give it a shot here. Those tires are not moving. Those square tires are only gonna, only gonna hurt us here. If we could get a little bit of rotation on them things, we might have been okay, but it's not looking like it's going to. We are going to skid all the way down. It says we're going five miles an hour. We're actually going 130 something and we're slowing down. We're going to go all the way. Oh no, we're not even going to make it to the top of the hill. You're kidding me. I think they're just too big. They're definitely too big. If they were a little bit smaller, I think they would have, uh, rotated now i don't know why this thing is automatically opening when i when i push uh, the oh god now we have two giant back tires this is basically tractor tires with the truck nuts obviously and like half a body kit very strange there goes the engine but we do have lights <laughs> and we're coasting we're going pretty quick here we might actually make it this time as long as we don't lose control completely it's gonna be a close one. Oh, just barely 30 meters I think is where we landed but we did land in one piece more or less I think we lost a tire that's uh, pretty much it that's the, all I mean if, if you land and you're alive then it's a good landing so they say <laughs> and then he crashed head on into a wall at 100 miles an hour but it doesn't matter we actually made it the first one of the day we didn't go very far but we made it. Here's another crazy, crazy looking car, truck, a three, a three road truck. Now that's something you don't see every day. Definitely the engine exploded. I think that's probably going to happen to most vehicles uh, that we test today. Oh, I think this one's going to go a little bit farther though. Yes, it is to 45 yes didn't quite stick the landing we did flip a couple times hopefully the, the guys in the back seat here have their seat belts on uh but besides that pretty good pretty good i can't slow down brakes do not work 
That's what the wall's for. Alrighty, let's move on. I want to try something tiny, and I don't know. Did we try the piccolina in the last episode? I don't remember. Well, let's, uh, let's spawn it up and uh, see what kind of crazy things we can get out of this. <laughs> A buggy police car with street tires and drag tires on the front. Kind of strange. Let's get the NOS. Oh, <laughs> and it's top heavy. Apparently, yeah, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna make it. I don't think we're falling at 100 miles an hour, but yeah, we're not gonna make it. Let's try that again. What we're gonna attempt to do? It does not want to go down this hill. I got to put it in like neutral. Maybe if I just absolutely gun it from the start, it doesn't want to switch gears. I'm pushing the button. Why is it switching? <laughs> does it only have two gears? I feel like I had this problem with some other cars. Oh, man. Does not want to go past third gear. Okay. And we're falling. We do have a roll cage, though. Let's see if it helps us from this height. I don't think it's going to. But let's uh, let's try it anyway. Slow motion, of course. Right on the roof. So this is going to be a good test. And it did not help at all. We are still flattened into a pancake. At least the uh, steering wheel survived, mostly, I think. Does it still move? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this one is fairly similar to the last one, only it made it more top-heavy because we have a box on top of the car. Why? I don't know. Are we still stuck at two gears in this one? Switch it. Oh. Okay, apparently we're stuck with one gear. Okay, 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 no, at the last second, no! I mean, we were going fast anyway, but <laughs> still sucks. I want to see this one make it, man. We're gonna, that box is gonna explode right on top of us. <laughs> or just crush the car. I don't even know what's in the box, but I guess it doesn't really matter. This one sounds and looks fast. Maybe it's just because the back tires are big, but no, this thing's actually quick. And it works! And it's got lights! What's not to love? 180 miles an hour. This one should make it very easily. There we go. And we're gonna attempt a front flip. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, not really. 110! The furthest jump of the day thus far. Not bad for the uh, little Piccolina here. Not bad at all. And uh, we're pretty much in one piece, mostly, I would say. All right, let's try uh, some good old American muscle here. The Moonhawk. Again, a lot of parts for this. We got the work drag version, apparently. We have a wheelie bar. Don't know if that's gonna be necessary. Yeah, it's actually pretty quick. Not the fastest thing I've ever seen, but uh, we got the police light, so we mean business. 200 miles an hour, nearly. And the light bar, I just noticed that. That should get us pretty darn far here. Yes, it is. A 130. And whatever's holding these ladders on to the top of this car, I want some because they did not budge whatsoever. What a launch, man. From the first scramble of this car. Let's try it again. <laughs> this one doesn't work at all. It's dead on arrival. Oh, now we're talking. We got the mattress. Mattress mobile is obviously going to act as a parachute. Or it's going to fly off. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, there goes our safety net. Again, another pretty good launch. I wonder. Oh, you can see the mattress fall. You see, it's like the one pixel back there. Oh, it's gone. But uh, again, another good launch. Not quite as far, only a 115 that time, unfortunately, but still pretty darn good. So let's try that one more time and see if we can get something really fast. It's giving me very similar results right now. Are any of these like actual drag cars though? They all have the wheelie bar. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a sign we should switch vehicles. Here's an old classic, the Burnsides. Uh, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. This is the weirdest police car I've ever seen. Taxi police car with Nas. Is it going to be fast, though? Let's find out as fast as it looks. It looks pretty sick. So I'm expecting this to go 500 miles. Oh, kind of struggling to control it, though. I don't think it's going to matter, though. That's a fairly, fairly fast launch. 
There we go. 70. The engine exploded midair. 90. So nearly 100 meters. Not bad at all. Flattened this thing. Completely flattened it. We're going to skid all the way to the wall. <laughs> Head on, of course. If we weren't going to slow down eventually, now we will. Oh, man. And this thing's like from the 50. So you're, you're dead. Either way, these are death traps for sure. Why is it only giving me the police car? I've only seen <laughs> every time I scramble, it's police car. Oh, man. Oh, this is like, okay, this is an actual drag car. I don't think that, I think the back tires are going to explode. Let's try it, though. Get, Get out of first gear. gear. There we go. Had to slam the, the clutch. Yes. The box definitely slowing us down. It's not connected to anything, by the way. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> oh, still a pretty good launch, though. Still a pretty good launch. Can we still drive this thing? No, I think something came disconnected that we need vitally. That's all right, though. That was still pretty good. Is the pickle... Wait, which... The, the moon side... Moon side? The moon hawk has gone the farthest, right? I think so. Or was the Piccolina? One of the two. Let's find one that's, like, actually... Like, most of the cars are fast. So, I don't... Let's try the SBR4. There's also some electric variants of this. So, I think we might actually get some of those as well. Let's go ahead and scramble this bad boy. And it's the box again! <laughs> Why is there so many boxes? Oh, this is... Okay, this is an electric... Right off the bat. Oh, man. A very fast one. Very fast. We're going to hit 200 miles an hour. Oh, just barely missed it. Not going to matter, though. We're going to do a sick front flip, and the body kit's going to pull us down a little bit, actually. So we're only going to make it to the 60. I think this, I think this lip here pulled us down, or just the general shape of the car. Let's scramble this again. For some reason... It only wants to put this on the front. That's it. It's a... Uh, oh, wait, there we go. Finally. <laughs> what they dropped for this? Does not sound fast at all. You know, we'll, we'll try it anyway. Lost the mattress in record time. We're actually going pretty quick here. I'm surprised the engine didn't explode. 140 miles an hour. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> We're dead. Oh, we're really dead. Really dead. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you want to see this series continue, uh, let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down there, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.